Hey, what's up guys, it's Jack here with Rethink Tech, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to go from a print like this to a print like this, by only changing one setting on your slicer. Yeah, I know, it's pretty crazy. Let's get into it. So I'm assuming you guys have a working 3D printer, the bed's calibrated, the extruder's working, all your software's working correctly. If you can print something but the quality is not the greatest and you think that your printer can print better, this solution is for you. So the one setting that will drastically improve your print quality is print speed. So if you're printing at like 50 millimeters per second on a rep rep printer that you put together for 200 bucks, your prints will probably turn out not that good gonna be all stringy bumpy the perimeters are gonna turn out poorly so you should probably be printing at a lower print speed so before this change I was printing at 50 millimeters per second and after I moved it down to 15 the prints were amazing as you can see so I dialed my printer into 15 millimeters per second but your printer is gonna be different it depends on what printer you have what other settings you're using, how your axes move, things like that. So play around with a print speed setting. Anywhere from 15 to 35 is the sweet spot for most rep rep printers that are kits. Print speed is basically the speed that your printer prints the object. So if the printer is at like 15, which is a slow speed, the printer is gonna print slower, which means your prints are going to take longer to print. But if you print faster, like at 50, the quality's not gonna be as good because your printer's trying to catch up, but it's gonna take a lot shorter to print. So you have to decide on either a fast print with low quality or a high quality print that takes a longer amount of time. Now I'm talking about low quality kits. I know there are really expensive 3D printers like Ultimakers that print at super high speed with great quality, but those are really, really expensive, and most people have kits or lower cost printers that have the same issue that I had with my printer. So, thanks for watching this video, guys. I hope you learned something. Please like, comment below, and subscribe for more videos like this, and I'll see you guys in the next video.